Morning Quad Copter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a neat new review. Uh, this is the ViFly V I F L Y R220 um, FPV Racer Quad Copter. Now, what is the FPV, the, the R220? The R220 is intended as a new flyer's, a new FPV racer flyer's first quad copter. As such, it's intended uh, to be flown right out of the box without any fiddling with the configuration settings, although you can, if you wish. Uh, configure this via this USB port here using clean flight or beta flight but again it's designed and intended and set up to be able to fly right out of the box it comes already all assembled all you need to do is charge up this battery throw some batteries in the fly sky uh, transmitter that they give you and go to time with it it's ready to go um, let's go over uh, the features of this quadcopter from bow to stern here we'll start off with it comes with 50 45 bulldoze propellers 2300 kV motor 20 amp ESCs, a 700 TVL camera that can be swiveled up or down. I'll believe it's swiveled slightly up. It comes with a 40 channel, and that's uh, uh, Boscan bands A, B, C, D, and E uh, FPV uh, transmitter. Uh, this FPV transmitter can be set to 25, 200, or 500 milliwatts simply by pressing this button here. Um, two second press changes between the both scan bands. A five second press will enable you to change between the power levels. I have this set up for 200 milliwatts for today's flight. Uh, although, you, again, you can go to 500 milliwatts if you want to go flying uh, out of line of sight. I don't intend to do that today. <laughs> um, additional things on this. Um, it has on-screen display for the FPV. Um, you can turn the on-screen display on and off, I believe, by pressing this button here. Um, you can bind the quadcopter if it ever loses bind with the transmitter by this button here. There's the bind button. Um, it comes with a 11.1 volt 3S 1500 milliamp hour battery, um, although you can also fly a 4S battery. Um, it, now, I had done a review of the R220 in the past. That was the prototype version of this. This is their final production version. Um, ready for the public. So that's what we're going to be testing today, the final production of the R uh, version of the R220. Um, the previous version I had did not have a camera mount. <laughs> this one comes with a camera mount that you can snap on a uh, run cam or whatever by attaching, you know, you can just simply Velcro to the top here. This because this piece here is removable. Uh, but today I have my SJ cam. Um, this can carry GoPro style cameras and that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. Uh, I don't own a GoPro, but I do own this SJ Cam SJ6 Legend. This is a brand new camera from SJ Cam, which is pretty darn neat. It comes with a touchscreen on the back for quickly changing uh, different uh, features of it. And it goes up through 4K uh, resolution. I'll be flying 1080p 60 frames per second for today's flight. Um, and finally, I want to talk about the structure itself on this quadcopter. Again, since this is intended for new FPV racer flyers, this is built pretty darn tough. Um, this is made to take a beating. All the internal components are protected by this plastic shell around it. Uh, additionally, the entire top frame and bottom frame are uh, carbon fiber, really tough and thick carbon fiber. So this is intended to take a beating. And SJ Cam is so confident that it can take a beating. I believe they have this guaranteed for those who purchased this in the first month of its sale here in January of 2017. Sorry for you, those out in the future, but this is for people who buy it right away. They're offering a, a guarantee on this that in case you break it. Uh, details on that guarantee are uh, included on their website. I'll include the link to their website here uh, if you want to investigate that further. Let's go over the transmitter. The transmitter, again, is a FlySky i6. Um, they have it set up for you. You don't need to do anything. Uh, the way it's set up is this switch here will enable you to switch between angle, uh, horizon mode and all the way down to acro mode. I'll be flying angle since I'm flying with my GoPro. I don't want to break my GoPro today. <laughs> but uh, future flights I might come out with a, a run camera or an 808 and uh, try acro with it actually. Uh, to arm the quadcopter you bring the th this throttle switch down and to the right and to disarm it you bring it down and to the left. So that's the main features on the F6 how it's already set up for you uh, using clean flight. That is about it, folks. Let's go for a flight of the V220 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's set this up. We're ready to go here. Um, not almost ready, actually. We're going to turn on the transmitter first. And make all sure all switches are up. And throttle is down. And then we're going to plug in the quadcopter. 
and we should be by. We're on channel A5. By the way, this comes with, it tells you what channel you're on <laughs> for FPV, and that is A5. And I already have that set up in my goggles, and I'm going to turn on my DVR to record. We are recording. So let's go for a flight of the R220 and see how it performs. So angle mode on, starting the throttles. Again, it starts in, um, oh, oh. <laughs> before we go, I forgot to turn on the camera. I want to record this too, folks. Camera coming on. Again, I got it set for 60 frames per second, 1080p, starting your video. Video is recording. Again, starting the motors. Okay, let's go. First flight of the R220. I want to see how stable it is. Punch it. <laughs> it actually punches with a GoPro attached. <laughs> okay, getting a feel for it. Getting a little more aggressive with it. Left bank, banking turn. Try a right banking turn. It's front LEDs are very bright, I gotta say. I can see them here. Again, this is intended for those wishing to enter into FPV. First time flyers of FPV. It should be very easy. Again, this is ready. This was ready to go right out of the box, folks. Let me land it for a second. And the reason why, this has a big pitch on it, forward pitch. I want to push up that camera even more. So we'll bring it in for a second here. And I, let's see if I can get on that landing pad. I don't think I can, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I'm just joking, folks. Okay, let's push that camera angle way up high. About there. So we can go a little faster. Starting the motors again. Take into the air. Camera angle is up high now. So we're going to do some low passes over the desert. Neat, neat. Ready to go quadcopter. That's what I like. You know, I don't like fiddling. You know, I, people say, well, that's part of the, you know, that's, you need to learn to fiddle with the settings. That's all part of the job, you know, <laughs> if you're flying FPV. I don't believe that, folks. I wish that they more or less come ready to go, like this one. A lot of people don't want to fiddle on their computers to, to get it just right, you know. In my opinion, it should be just right out of the box. And that was the idea with this one. Yeah, it's flying great. So, again, the Vifly R220, intended for first time FPV racers flyers now beginners no this is not for beginners um, when I say first time I mean somebody that's already has flying skills has been flying other quadcopters for quite some time and wishing to enter into FPV racing um, FPV racers this would be a good first FPV racer but this is not a learn to fly quadcopter by any means keep that in mind though you beginners out there you know say oh that looks so cool ready to go I want it no, that's not for you. <laughs> I'd recommend starting with something to learn the basics with, such as like an X5C. The X5C from SEMA is still my number one choice for first-time flyers. There's, I'm getting a beep. This has a beeper, by the way. We're going to bring it in now. I heard beeps. I think that's enough to demonstrate what this could do. We'll bring it in close. Actually, still got a little power. That was only a single beep. <laughs> 
So let's bring it in so you can see it. Again, there we go, the R220. And there goes his beeper. <laughs> it's carrying a GoPro though. Keep that in mind folks, it's carrying a GoPro so it's gonna reduce its flight time some. It, it was beeping a little bit there. I think that's enough to show what this can do. So let's disarm it. I'm plugging. And turning off my camera. And shutting it down. So that was the R220 uh, from Vifly. Ready to go, ready to fly out of the box racer for people who have some uh, racing or some flying experience but wish to enter the field of FPV racing. This quadcopter might be for you. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101 signing out.